Hi everyone, Renee here coming at you from the other side of the mirror. I'm going to share with you today my quarantine evening routine. The biggest change these days to my evening routine is that most nights I don't even need to use a cleanser. I don't need to do a double cleanse. I just do the same thing as I do in my morning routines, which is a water rinse cleanse, and that is actually enough. Most days, if not all, I really am indoors. I'm not wearing any makeup. Um, I'm limiting my sunscreen use as well, and certainly I'm, I have no need for the long wearing kind. But again, that's just what works for me. So if you're someone who feels like you are getting um, really oily and congested skin, towards the end of the day or when you wake up in the morning, then it always works to use a cleanser. My suggestion is if you want to use one cleanser just to cleanse your skin because you don't really have anything you need to remove, then use a second step cleanser. There are some days though where I will apply a little bit of makeup for Zoom meetings, but that's usually just concealer and some eye makeup and maybe some blush. So I don't have a whole base of complexion makeup. For those days, I will use an oil-based cleanser. I feel like there's just a no more effective first cleanse than an oil-based one, especially when it comes to removing makeup and eye makeup. Right now I'm trying out a new Sherbet Balm cleanser from I'm From, their Fig Cleansing Balm. This is that traditional Korean Sherbet Cleansing Balm that I just love so much. It's got that nice waxy texture that's like the original Vanilla Co. Turns almost instantaneously into this beautiful rich oil as you apply it and it just melts all your makeup off, emulsifies beautifully, rinses off completely clean without residue. So far I've been loving it. So days where I just have a little bit extra on my skin, this is the only step I need. Eliminating all the extra layers um, and also just, you know, reducing the cleansing it's improved my skin a lot, quite noticeably over the last I don't even know how many weeks it's been. So another switch I've made to my routine is now, right after cleansing, I will apply my retinoid. I use tretinoin every other day, and in the winter, I was alternating it with my CAIL from Neod. Um, I finished that, so now I am alternating it. I'm going back to retinol to hide. So I used to apply hydration before my retinoid, but now I'm doing the reverse. I apply my retinoid first. I do one pump. Even though I feel like it's completely sunken into my skin and everything is dry, I still like to give it a little bit of wait time before I apply hydration. Usually I have no patience for wait times, but these days I just feel like everything is a lot more relaxed and my routines just feel more stretched out, so wait times now are just not a problem for me. Once or twice a week during my retinoid off night, I will do an exfoliation treatment. In fact, I mentioned in one of my previous videos that during like this time of quarantine, whether I use my actives during the day or the night doesn't even make that much of a difference anymore. So there have been mornings where I've been actually doing my exfoliation treatment. I actually feel like I've been getting more skin buildup recently. I don't know what's going on there, but definitely um, exfoliation has been a need. Great exfoliation treatment that I use, especially when I felt like my skin was getting a little sensitive because I went up with the tretinoin concentration and I felt like my skin was just constantly, constantly pilling. I wanted to get rid of that extra skin without causing any extra irritation. Pyongyang Yu's peeling gel is excellent for that. You apply this on your dry cleansed skin and as you're applying it, it almost feels like your own skin is just gently, you know, sort of coming off even though it's not. There are no beads in here, nothing scratchy at all, but it just feels like your skin is, you know, sort of pilling as you apply this, but then when you rinse, everything just feels so smooth and looks really, really bright. This is also fantastic as a morning exfoliation and when you want to apply your skincare or makeup on, on a canvas that's smooth rather than one that's just sort of flaking. For hydration, either I'll go really simple formulas, you know, ones that just soothe, calm, as well as deeply, deeply hydrate, or I'll just go luxury, you know, hydrating essence that's almost like a serum just packed full of beautiful antioxidants and plant extracts and all of that. This essence just brings out so much glow. 
I still and always will love my facial oils. So the two I've been reaching for a lot these days, I kind of gone back and revisited the Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula. I find it just so comforting and to me it's really lightweight and simple, especially now, you know, when I am stepping up my tretinoin and I am getting a little bit of irritation from blowing my nose during the spring. I've also been loving Votary's Super Boost Night Drops. That reminds me a lot of their Super Seed Oil, but just even more calming, um, which is really nice during times like this again. This has a beautiful blend of like strawberry seed, flax seed, camellia oil, you know, which is green tea seed oil. Um, it also has cannabidiol. If you have any kind of sensitivity from using actives or any redness, then overnight this just calms everything down and I wake up in the morning and my skin just looks really good, moisturized, and just even toned. You just need a few drops of an oil serum. You really don't need a lot of it and just press it into your skin. If you really want to luxuriate now is a great time to bust out the gua sha or any sort of massage, facial massage tools. So I'm not really feeling like I need any extra moisturizer right now. So for now, I'll probably give it a skip. Although sometimes I apply moisturizer like right before I go to bed, almost like a sleeping mask. By that time, I feel like a lot of my skincare, my oil has sort of nicely settled into my skin. So instead of eye cream, I've been using this, which is from Versed, The Fix, their emergency eye mask. So you're supposed to apply this as an eye mask and then after about 10 to 20 minutes you can tissue it off or just remove it. I just like to leave it on throughout the night and it just really plumps out the skin on my eyes and rehydrates it. It's not like a thick emollient cream or like Vaseline that might you know uh, create some milly around your eyes. Instead it's just really sort of hydrating. I apply a really good and liberal amount. In fact it just feels so refreshing. It's sort of thick enough that it doesn't really migrate. This is so refreshing immediately upon application like everything is feels so cool boing this is so great for the daytime as well because if you wake up and have tired eyes this immediately kind of energizes everything although you probably will have to wipe some of the excess off during the day but yeah this is a super hydrating mask for your eye area i love it Another thing I'll do right before I go to sleep is my lip balm. I'm really loving the new fresh hydrating lip balm flavors. Now I'm using lime mint. They are on the sweeter side, which right now kind of make me feel happy. So for the days when I have allergy attacks and my nose just ends up getting completely raw around here, eventually they start really flaking and peeling. For those days, I use a little bit of my consistent staple, probably my favorite balm, um, Egyptian Magic. So I just apply them around the sides of my nostrils. So that's it for my evening skincare routine. I hope that you are all continuing to keep safe and well. And until next time, I am wishing you great health and great skin.